Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure an alternate configuration for your network adapter in case you can't get an IP address from your DHCP server, which could be your home router or actual DHCP server on the network, uh, whatever you might be using. So this comes in handy to say let's uh, your DHCP server failed, but you still want to be able to give it an address so it could talk on the network. So on this computer here, if I do an IP config, You'll see it has an APIPA address, which starts with 169.254.something.something. And this is saying that uh, this computer can't reach a DHCP address, so it's giving it this APIPA address by default, you know, for lack of anything better to do. And if this address is not going to work on your network, which it most likely isn't, you could go ahead and change that to where you'll have like a backup address. So to do that, you want to go to your network settings. Go to the properties for that specific adapter. Go to uh, TCP IP v4. So right now it's set to obtain an IP address automatically. So you want to leave that be just in case, you know, if your DHCP server starts working or if that's what you like to use by default, that way it'll get an IP address automatically. But if you go to this alternate configuration tab, right now it's set to a PIPA by default, but you could change that by typing in the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS server, Win server, whatever information you might need here that you want your network adapter to configure itself with if it can't get it from the DHCP server. So we'll go ahead and click OK to that, and OK. All right, then we'll go back to our command prompt here, and we'll renew. Sometimes on the renew it kind of hangs, so I'd like to just close it and go back in here and do a do an IP config. And now you can see we have the 192.162.3 with the default gateway of 2.1. If we do an IP config slash all, we should have our DNS information, the 2.10. So you can see how it works. So now if this computer can't get an IP address from the DHCP server, or your router, whatever it's getting an address from, it'll automatically configure itself with this information, and hopefully that'll get it on the network and not leave you hanging with no connection. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.